before we calculate the cost, process cost of a product, uh, we need to do a little bit more um, terminology, introduce you to some more terminology. You've seen some of this before. Um, the conversion cost is defined as direct labor plus manufacturing overhead. Um, in process costing, we sp always split our cost into direct material and conversion costs when we're calculating um, equivalent units when we are calculating the total cost assigned to a product and you'll see that later on so first thing you need to know is whenever you see the term conversion cost that includes your direct labor plus manufacturing overhead the next thing that we're going to talk about is our equivalent units equivalent units are defined as the amount of work done during a period in terms of fully completed units what do we do with equivalent units? That is what we use to convert our ending work in process to equal or rather to reflect the same type of units as are completed and transferred out. So what we're doing is we are showing what our ending work in process, if you remember that is our incomplete units. We show it in terms of fully completed units so we can add that to our completed and transferred out to calculate a cost per unit for that entire process. I know at this point it's still very confusing, but just uh, know what equal unit means. It's the amount of work done during a period in terms of fully completed units. Next, I'm going to show you how to calculate equivalent units. Okay, we're going to take a look at our, an example to calculate equivalent units. It's a simple example. We're going to say that we started 50 units of pies. We're going to manufacture pies and this particular company started 50 units in production during the period. We completed 42 pies for our particular production. However, we have eight incomplete pies in our ending working process. So incomplete pies means pies that have, uh, let's say they haven't been filled. Also, your questions will always give you some additional information. And this, you need these to calculate your equivalent units. They will tell you how much these pies are complete for direct material costs and how complete are these pies for your conversion costs. So what they've told you is that these pies, these eight units in our ending working process, have 50% of the direct material costs that a fully completed pie has. So these pies have 50% of direct material costs as a fully completed pie. So we say that they're 50% complete for direct materials. Similarly, these pies have 25% of conversion cost as a fully completed pie. So they're 25% complete. Now how do we calculate our equivalent units? Whenever we do process costing problems, we always split our cost into direct material cost and conversion cost. So we will have to calculate two equivalent units, one for our direct material cost and one for conversion cost. Your formula for equivalent units is the number of partially completed units, that is the number of units in your ending working process, multiplied by the percentage of completion. So for the pies that we had, we are going to calculate equivalent units for both the con uh, direct materials and conversion costs. Our ending inventory had eight pies. They were 50% complete as for direct materials, so our equivalent units for pies is four pies. So those eight pies that were 50% complete have the same direct material cost as four completed pies. Same methodology, our conversion costs were 25% complete, so what is the equivalent units for conversion cost? These eight incomplete pies have the same conversion cost as two completed pies. How do you calculate it? It's eight which is the number of partially completed units, multiplied by 25%, which is the percentage completion, giving you two pies. So if you were asked to calculate your equivalent units, you know that these eight pies are four pies for direct materials and two pies for conversion costs. 